Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and uh, I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Today, uh, we have our guest, co- my co-host. Are you there, Kelly? Yes. Hello, everyone. Right. Hi, Kelly. I'm a co-host, Kelly, and I also Hi. have our other co-host, Barbara. Are you there, Barbara? Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi, Barbara. Now, Today, Hi. our um, our chakra, we're doing a chakra day, and the uh, lady that's getting her chakras done is Elkie Jensen. Is that how you pronounce your name? Yes. Great. Hello, okay. everybody. You've been, <laughs> Hi. You've been, kind of, um, Hi. you've been kind of stressed out lately, so I wanted to brought you back. Um, you've been a good friend to Barbara, so, you know, we figured, you know, we wanted to do something nice for you, and um, you know we wanted you to. We want we're going to do something to kind of see if we can look in and see what's going on because you said that you've had like bad luck and a lot of stress. So yeah. what I'm going to do yeah. is, uh, Bar- uh, Kelly, you there? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Hi. I'm going to turn the uh, mic over to you, and uh, let's see if we can uh, fix LP up. All right. All right. Good. Good plan. Enjoy it, Elkie. Thank you. Hello. So, um, are you nice and relaxed as you can be right now, Elkie? Yes, I am ready. Good. I'm really Good. relaxed and I'm not moving around, but I'm sitting on my sofa, which is very oh, rare. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds perfect. All right. So in case we have new listeners that aren't sure what we're doing, uh, we're doing the chakra day, and we have seven major chakras in our body, and we have many more other chakras that go in different layers all the way to our outside, but we focus on the seven major ones here, and... That way, they're all connected to different body systems, different organs, different things that work together. Um, Each one is very specific to what it works with. And different thought processes and emotions and things that happen to us can get stuck in these areas. Um, Sometimes they need somebody like myself to come along and help free it up and get that gone so that the healthy energy can flow the way it's supposed to be. And, you know, sometimes people need that more, and sometimes they can go longer periods of time. It just really depends on what's happening and how they're processing what goes on and um, the kind of things that are happening. Like, um, so... What I do is I start at the first one, which is the root chakra. And that would be basically on the place that you'd be sitting on on your area there. And I take a gemstone that's on a string. And quite honestly, I've been shown from other people that do this, that you can use a piece of dental floss and a paper clip. And so it doesn't have to be anything fancy as long as you can connect with the energy. I have to do that? What? You want me to get a paper clip? Oh, no, you're perfectly fine. I do all the okay. work and you can relax. But oh, thanks for asking okay. Yeah, it's just something that if people at home wanted to see if it worked, oh, you know, they can do oh, that. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I rub my hands together until I feel them tingle and warm. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just something that I do um, to get prepared. Um but if people do this, 
they might be able to feel their hands get warm and tingling. And then I bring them out about shoulder width apart. And I bring them closer and closer together until about five inches apart. I start to feel some resistance. And that is an energy ball. So people that practice meditation or yoga or any of those mind, body, spirit type things might be able to feel this faster. Or if you happen to be sensitive to energy, you might be able to feel it right away. Other people, it takes practice. And it's just something that I personally do so that I can have the energy that I have focused in my hands. Um, so that uh, I also say a prayer before every show, before every Sunday restart guided meditation, before every chakra cleanse, so that I can be guided by God and the Holy Spirit because I'm just a person and God is working through me. I'm just the body that he's working through. And I feel very blessed to be able to do that. So let's get started. The root chakra is the most primal and important energy center. It's our instinct for survival and safety. And there's some other interesting things. Um, It's what grounds us with the earth and everything that is earthly, um, the life here on earth, the energies, (coughs) things of that nature. Um, Nourishment, prosperity, family and home are related to this area. And if you needed to have a boost, you would be able to use basil, cedarwood, cilantro, myrrh, patchouli, vetiver, or white fur to help boost your root chakra. So let's see how your root chakra is, Elsie. And if it goes around, if the uh, if the gemstone goes around in a circle, that's good. That means that there's positive energy there and it's able to flow. And if it goes up and down or side to side, then there's either a block or there's negative energy. So let's see what we find. Okay, good. Good. You have a nice energy flow, and it just starts getting faster and faster, making a big sweeping circle, and it's starting to go sideways. And it's kind of funny because all of Barbara's friends end up with it looking like a plane propeller, even though I'm holding on to it, so it, it should be looking more like a helicopter propeller, being horizontal, but it's not. So that shows me that, Barbara, your circle of friends, they've got it on, basically. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but you guys are all very energized in the right ways, and that's very exciting. I haven't really experienced it. So, wow. So, um. This one, I'm going to go in there and see what I feel because with things being off and I know that some things have happened, I, you know, let me just see because it did start out slowly. It just shows me that it's going to get better and better. But let's see what's going on right now. Oh, my goodness, you have beautiful energy, Elkie. I'm like, I feel like I'm basking in sunshine right now. Really? Yeah. I wish I could feel it. (laughs) Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wow. I hope I get to meet you in person. I want to stand in a room with Barbara and her friends, and it's just going to be like 
I feel like the vibration is just going to be humming in that room. It's going to be so high. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. You'll see Elsie for sure if she's oh, not good. in Germany or something like that. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I can't wait to meet everyone. I know that we talk on this um, show and everything, but that's going to be amazing to see each other in person. Oh, good. Yeah, I would love to do it too. Good. I can't wait to give you guys the biggest hug. Me too. And I think I might cry now. (laughs) You know, when I asked us that before, I really, I think I am going to. Good. All right. Let's see. Okay. I didn't. I didn't find anything bad, which is a good thing because that's telling me that. Even though you've had some things happen lately and they weren't great, it's telling me that um, your instinct for survival and safety has not been affected that way, that, that subconsciously you know that this is temporary and it's frustrating, mm. yeah. but... Yeah, it, it's kind of like God's way of saying, hey, girl, you need to slow down. You're doing too much. And, you know, sometimes when we don't listen, God makes us listen. And that's kind of what's mm-hmm. happening. And I I think he's yeah. telling you, yeah, that uh, it, it, to a go within your oh, I, okay, I believe I, I, I believe it is a punishment from God that I did something wrong. I I don't see it like that. I see it more like, you know, he's like, all right, Elsie, you need to slow down. You need to concentrate on your inside. Okay, Elsie, you need to slow down. And then Elsie didn't slow down. And so Uh, God is like, mm. I'm going to make you slow down. And then maybe you'll focus more on the inside while you're recuperating because you can't do Uh, as much. You know, no. it's not a punishment. It's a opportunity See, for growth. But uh, I cannot focus on my inside. I cannot because my anger and my ups- I'm angry, upset, and I'm negative. And I was always able to turn my negativity around. I can help other people, and I can, for some reason, cannot help myself. I mean, I can turn my thinking around by reading something or listening to the secret. But then it only lasts like one or two hours. Oh yeah. Well, see, he's that having my so problem. Can work on that. Yeah, he's he's saying, okay, I'm gonna make you sit down so you have time to work on it more. That's basically what he's saying. It's not a punishment. It's just saying, I'm gonna give you time now where you're not gonna be able to do much, but you can work on that. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, because I know that's not easy, and um, but he's he's telling you that you know I'm gonna have it, so you have to sit and have some extra time. So yeah, um, let's see. The sacral is the emotional body, sensuality, and creativity. And that's kind of like between the base of the spine and like your belly button. It's kind of in that that area there, um, like below the belly button but above the bikini line. And let's see what's going on there. Okay, we have a small circle that needs help. It's it's fine. I mean, it doesn't have anything negative, but it needs help. It's not going around like the other one did. And mm-hmm. I think that has to do with the fact that when you're laid up, it's depressing. And yeah. also, you know, feeling angry and, you know, different emotions that come up when things happen to us. And let me see when I go in there if my what I'm 
this um, fish has said it, those are what's going on. Let me make sure when I go in that I can find out. But that was just what came to me right away. Yeah. I feel like you have creativity, but sometimes our, um, sometimes it gets blocked a little bit when the emotions come. But I feel that you're a very smart person and you have creativity. Yeah, I do have creativity, but I cannot do anything. I mean, so I cannot. She know. is very smart, Kelly. She's very, very smart. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Baba. Oh. Thank you. I am picking she, up on that. She, not for sure. But, Kelly, can, she needs to stop saying these negative words can't and, you know, things like that. Get that out of your right. vocabulary and, like, help, yeah. help yourself heal, help yourself, help yourself, basically. Don't say that you know you're not supposed to say those types of words, like can't and things like that. I know. And, and what you said to me, Barbara, last time, you said to me, said to you what? Are you there? Okay. Okay. I don't know what just happened. I don't either. Johnny? Is she still on? No, she's here. Uh, it says she's okay. here. Um, Maybe she hit mute by accident. Oh, that could be. I'll I'll text her. I'll text her. It, uh, it wouldn't be the first time one of us has done that. Oh, I know. <laughs> one time I thought you guys were ignoring me. I was like, whoa. And I, mean, I, I was trying so hard to get your attention once. That was so silly. Wow, well, that was yeah. weird. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Jeez. Elke is I'm- such a person who studies self-help. She's really like that. She's really into the secret. And she got everybody into that when it first came out. And she was watching that every day. So um, she knows. She knows oh, not to God. use those word, negative words. Like I can't. I mean, she's just really down. And so she needs to stop saying those negative words oh, about no. her situation. Yeah. And then she'll get healed faster. And, in fact, she is really actually healed. Her leg is healing quickly, I noticed. Wow. Yeah. Okay, she says she's here. She says she's here. Um, She just texted me. She says she's here. Um, It says says we can't hear you. Uh, Let me see here. Yeah, she says uh, she doesn't hear us. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me me, me try this again. Okay. Okay. Here's what I'll do. Yeah. All right. Okay, give me the... Okay. What I did was I disconnected her and then I told her to try calling it again. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Let's see yeah. here. I've noticed that when we have technical difficulties we're handling it a lot better, you know, and we don't have that air, which is good. Yes, that's true. That's right. Okay. Well, between the two of us, you know, we never are at a loss for words, are we, Kelly? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, can you imagine how hard it would be if I was doing the show alone? Would this would be like oh, right now? Would, oh, yeah. yeah. That would be that's... like, I wouldn't want to be in that position. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. Yes, I am back. Yeah, I'm here. I just got, hey, I don't know why. I got, you <laughs> I got disconnected to okay. an old but what, what did I miss? Uh, uh, we were just talking, you know, not, a, not about you, but just talking uh, so that we were not having nothing happening. But we didn't have to miss you anything. Said, you, you see a lot of negative, they were talking about, like, he says a lot of negative terms. 
Right. So those and I said, Baba, just right now. And I said, not all the time. Baba told me that the show is too much for her and that she is not worrying anymore. And I worry too much. Oh, I, I non-stop worry. I, I, mean, I hate uh, myself for that. Well, you know, it, it takes time. It takes time to turn it around. And, and how? Kelly, okay, how? Yeah. How do I turn my life around not to worry anymore? Please. Well, um. Okay. What stock are we working on? We're working on the <laughs> which is number two. But um, you have techniques. Yeah, we have techniques. Um, I I explain them in the Sunday restart, like how to help turn the thoughts around. Um, and I know it's really difficult when you're going through things. Um, and one of these one of these shows, I'm gonna look up my um, dialectical behavior therapy because it has you know, ways to turn around our emotions. Like one of the ways would be to hold an ice cube and that totally takes our attention away from the negative thought and then we focus on the ice cube and then we pretty much, you know, it changes the chemistry in our mind so that we don't have those What am I doing with the ice cube? You're just holding it for a few minutes. Like maybe, you know, until it melts. Um, oh, and it's going to be uncomfortable. Okay, mm-hmm. um, and then there's another one where uh, you can distract yourself with something that you enjoy doing. Um, maybe it's adult coloring book. Maybe it's uh, soaking your feet and getting a pedicure. Maybe it's um, a craft that you haven't tried and you think you might like. Because mm-hmm. you do have, you know, you're not able to be up and around as much. Um, there's a thing where you can put your face in ice water, and that instantly changes your brain chemistry. So that what can I put negative in, so, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? What can I put in ice water? If you, if you dunk your face in ice water or just cold water, it will change uh-huh. the chemistry in your head for a little bit so that uh-huh. the negative thoughts, you're not thinking on those. And okay. then there's other techniques, too. But I think that might be a whole show in itself, actually, and uh, maybe a yeah. theory. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That would be fun because I know they taught yes. me a lot. It I used to be worry very helpful. Yeah, I used to worry all the time and have so many fears. But I'm so glad I'm not in that place now. Um, yeah. See, let's see. Let's check the sacral again. That's the one that's, well, oh, that one's going better. Okay. Um, yeah, that one's doing a lot better, actually, now. Um so we move on to the third one, which is the solar plexus. And that is between the belly button and, like, the breastbone. Um, that is your personal power, your self-esteem, your warrior energy, and your power of transformation. And that is doing a slow but sweeping circle. So that and trying to kind of go and like kind of like going on an angle, but not quite. It's it's too slow to really do that. So let's see what we have when we go in there. Okay, I'm feeling this is off. It immediately gave me a tightness in my stomach. And it made me burp, which is kind of odd. But, um, but, yeah, this one's off. I mean, it's healthy enough to be open, but it's off. And I think it has to do with um, what has happened lately is going to affect your self-esteem. And 
it's going to affect how you feel about being able to power through it and your personal power right now is lower than it normally is because you're having to deal with all of this. Um, so let's see. That is also having to do with your pancreas, your digestion, and the assimilation of your muscles and your personal power and self-will. So let me see if I can get in there and help them be better. It feels heavy to me. It feels like it's not as heavy as a bowling ball, which is good, but it's not. But it feels heavy. And and I think that's where some uh, frustration and some anger and some self-doubt might come in. So I just made that come up and scatter and leave into the ground. So let me oh. check and see. Yeah. It it just it was like I brought it up. It was heavy, and then I gave it a big and I blew it to scatter, and it gave me chills. Um, wow! Let's see. Thank you. Yeah. That, wow, that's really going great now. It's going and doing that helicopter. It went from a helicopter propeller to like a airplane one, where it's hard to hang on to. It's going so well. Do you feel uh, anything different? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a feeling of happiness. You have a what? I have a feeling of happiness, of of, of, of release. I, I feel release. Oh, wow. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good. Oh, that was that was amazing. I mean, I've never gotten rid of it like that where I could just blow it and it scattered and went away. That was really cool. Wow. See, I learn something new every day. Because <laughs> each one is different. Um, next, we're doing your heart chakra. That's the opening of feelings, compassion, capacity to love. It doesn't like conflict. That's your cardiac plexus, your heart and thymus. That's your electromagnetic field generator, which is also your aura, your blood pressure and your immune system. And it has to do with mm-hmm. giving and receiving your love. Let's see how you're doing there. Okay, this one this one's an okay circle. It's kind of slow like the other one. And uh, it's doing exactly what the other one was doing. So it's not bad, but it could definitely be improved. So mm-hmm. let's see what happens when I get in there. Wow. Yeah, you have beautiful heart energy. I don't know what it is with with you and Barbara's friends, but oh, my goodness. This is like, I have beautiful wow. heart energy. Wow. Yeah. Oh my. Wow. I wish everybody has this good heart energy. But I do feel some sadness. And I think that's just because of the situation right now. It's yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Because it doesn't feel like it's here to stay. It is. Can you please help me with that too and blow it away? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's starting to get heavy as I'm lifting it out. This one does feel like it could be a bowling ball I'm sitting on your chest. Do you ever have, like, that heavy feeling? I'm pulling. It looks silly because I'm pulling an invisible chain to try to get that to come out and throwing it away. Pulling, 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 and throwing. And, oh, this is beautiful energy now. 
This is beautiful. I'm going to check it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that went immediately into, like, an airplane propeller, and it's very hard to hang on to right now because it, it's uh, going around so fast. So, whew. <laughs> You have a nice one in there. Wow. Um, okay. So the next one is the throat chakra. Oh, okay, are you there? I am there. Yes, I'm listening. Okay. Oh, okay good. Sorry, you were you were quiet there for a second. I wanted to make sure that. <laughs> I, I am totally. I'm totally. I'm listening to every word. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we want to make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, okay. The the throat is your ability but, but, to but, but, but the, the, the one with the heart and 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 with my uh, what you just said. Did you get that away too? Yeah, that was really heavy, but I was able to get that away, and then it was filled with the most beautiful, beautiful you got that, energy. You got it away. Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. It, you're welcome. I've never seen one go that fast before after I was done. <laughs> so wow. there's something about you ladies that is very special. I I don't even know how to describe it. It's just wow. I mean, you get a, la- a room with you ladies in it, and it's going to, I mean, I feel like you don't even need to flip the light switch on. The, the power is going to come on by itself, and you're going to have light coming on by themselves. I mean, that's how it wow. feels. Yeah. I mean, you you ladies have something special, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, the, the throat chakra, the ability to manifest and express your truth in the world. And that is also the pharyngeal plexus, the thyroid and parathyroid plexus your metabolism and calcium regulation, and your communication center. And sometimes if this is off, that's when people will feel like they have a little bit of trouble swallowing. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this one is doing what the other two had done, where it's not a terrible circle, but it could definitely be better. So let's see what happens when I go in there. Oh, Elsie, Elsie, Elsie. This is interesting. Um, I find, like, a mix of emotions that are resting in your, your throat area. And what it's trying to tell me is that you have a battle going on, not only with, like, negative words to yourself, But sometimes you are afraid to express yourself because you're afraid you're going to have outbursts of anger come out instead, and that's not what you mean to have Mm -hmm. happen. So, yeah, that's that's really an interesting energy that's happening in there, that, um, that it feels like, a battle going on inside of you that you want to blurt out and say something like, you know, hey, why are you doing that? Or, hey, that bothers me. Or, you know, probably something a little bit meaner and sharper. But your brain is saying, no, 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 I should probably not say it like that. And then you're afraid to say anything at all because you're thinking that it might come out like that anyway. Does that make sense? That makes sense, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Let's see if we can get that balanced again. There. And it feels like it should be better. Let me check it. Oh, yep, this is, (laughs) I can barely hang on to this one, too. Okay. So, you know, you can, when, when you slow your mind down, 
and you wait a few, you know, 10 seconds before you say something, you can have some really profoundly beautiful words come out. And yeah, so, really? I mean, yeah, yeah, that because you are so smart and people know that and it seems like sometimes people come to you for advice or they want to know your opinion because you're going to tell them straight. If that dress makes their butt look fat, you're going to tell them it looks fat in that dress because you're going to tell them like it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Is that a yes? Yes, okay. Yes, yes. But they do it because people come to you for that. They want an honest opinion, and they know that you have your LT way about you, that you're not going to blow sunshine up their butt, and you're going to, you know, you're not going to sugarcoat anything. You're going to tell them exactly how it is, and they respect you for that. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's the special LT way. They know what to expect, <laughs> and they come to you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So when you make a friend, it's genuine. You don't, you don't, I, I don't like to use the word, but you don't bullshit around. If you like no. somebody, you like somebody. If you don't, then you don't mess with it. You, you don't try to pretend because you're a real person. And you're yes, very real with people. Yes. You're very direct, which is good. And you don't let people take advantage, which is good too. And people rely on you to help them with their strength. Um, yeah. The third eye is the next one. That's your intuition and your patterns of learning and your memory skill set. It's also your carotid plexus, your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, your hormonal and physiological regulation, your intuition, wisdom, and creative intelligence. So we'll see how you're doing there. Okay, yeah. This is like, I can barely hang on to it because it's doing so well. So when you have a gut feeling or a feeling about someone or a situation, you are spot on. You can see right through, you know, any kind of sales pitch. You can see right through to the heart of the person. So that is a very, very great gift. And it's also another reason why your friends feel safe with you because, when they hang around you, you have a what people will, you know, refer to sometimes as a bullshit radar. You can you can definitely tell and call someone out if they're not being truthful. Yes. Does that sound right? Yes, that sounds very right. Well, people rely on you for that. So that's a good thing. Um, That's a very strong thing that you have, and that's very good because you help them not be taken advantage of too. And let's see. The last one is the crown chakra. That's the access to higher states of consciousness being open to what is beyond understanding. It has to do with spirituality, relation to God, universal source, your corroded plexus, pineal gland, and your circadian rhythms. So that's basically like your sleep patterns and things. So, but it also connects you to God and the universe. And this is like right above your head. So let's see what that one is. This one is doing really well, but it's not making it hard for me to hang on to like some of the other ones. So I'm going to go in and see what we have going on. 
Oh, Elsie, you have wonderful energy. It just feels so good. Um, but I, I feel a little bit of self-doubt. You feel what? I feel a little bit of self-doubt when it comes oh. to being one with the universe and, like, being directly connected with God and the energy of others, you know, the our higher self. I think that your situation is calling you to work on your higher self. Um, Probably, and, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see how it is now. It's off to a rocky start, but then it really starts taking off like a plane propeller, like super fast. So I oh. feel like you have some stumbling blocks in the beginning, and then you take off like a racehorse from the starting gate, and you just start yeah. absorbing all this information. And the more you learn, the more you want to learn. The more you try, the more you do, the the better you feel. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, coming very soon. Because I feel like you have the time now where you can just dive in and consume all this information and have it work for you. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly move through the seven and check them with um, my stone on the string here and make sure that nothing decided to go into a different one to try to hang on, you know, to make sure everything is open and, and happy and working the way it should. So the root chakra, yeah, that one I can barely hang on to, so that's doing really well. The sacral, that one, we lost to a little bit of a rocky start, but then it really started taking off. And that one makes sense because that's your emotional body. And once you get over the stumbling blocks, then it's going to be just full out run with it and immersing yourself. And it's just going to feel so good. Um, Solar plexus, I can barely hang on to. That one's doing well. The heart chakra, that one's doing really well. That one's spinning so fast. The throat, that one I can barely hang on to. That one's doing really well. Mm -hmm. The third eye, that one's doing really well. I mean, it's like, seriously, it it is like, that is your strongest. Um, The crown, that one is doing super. So do you have questions for me? Me? Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I feel really good. I mean, I, I really needed it. I, I feel good and I feel like I totally believe in it. Even I don't know much about it, but I totally believe in it. I feel like, I feel like Lyra. I feel like... Oh, I feel good. like Lyra. I feel good. like... Yeah. Good. That is so perfect. That was what I was hoping for. Yeah, I know, yeah. like, when all these things are happening, it can feel like we're carrying around extra weight that we don't need to carry. Like, sometimes right. it feels I like feel, a I, whole I feel like that. And, and, and I feel like uh, I really I, take your advice with the 10 seconds thinking before I I, wanted, I wanted oh, to say something good. because I... I wanted to to say something. I don't know if you heard this, uh, Kelly, but, you know, it's funny what you said earlier about slowing down. I talked to Vanessa Orr about Elkie just to check on it, on Elkie to make sure she was okay. This is what Elkie, this is what Vanessa wrote me back. I'm sorry to read this. Mercury retrograde is filled with plus three energies right now. Your friend is being signaled to slow down. Take time for self. Even the dog wants a break. She is hard on yourself, this friend. Whoa. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. He says the dog wants to break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, that makes me even feel better. That makes me really feel good because I punish myself for not 
running every day with me any man. Oh. oh, good. Wow. Thank you. So God was like, sit your butt down, Elsie, and get a break. <laughs> well, but so yeah. you know, I wanted to see what Vanessa would say. Cause I'll tell you why. Uh, Vanessa said that um, the um, the argument that, that was made for Barbara being pushed is that Barbara was this uh, ballroom dancer, you know, person. I mean, you know, it's like for her to fall would be highly unusual. And then I got to thinking, yeah. Elkie was a black belt in karate. I mean, for her to fall and hurt her knee, I think that would be just, it would be kind of unusual too. So I wanted to say, yeah. apparently, um, that is not not things that Elkie was pushed, but she just thinks that she's getting energy from all the Mercury retrograde and the universe is telling her to slow down. That's why, you know, it does seem kind of, it is a little unusual, I would think, for somebody that's used to it as the balance that you do to, you know, to hurt your knee, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying, uh, Kelly and Ellie? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's like a, well, you didn't listen to me, so now I'm going to make you slow down kind of a thing. Right. Now I'm no. supposed to slow down, yeah. So I am, it wasn't yeah. a spirit. It's the universe. It wasn't a spirit. It was the universe telling you to slow down. Now. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good to yeah. have the confirmation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I thought about it for a sec before I talked to you. I had this thought. I had this but I just had this thought for like five minutes. You know? I I, yeah. I know I can do I, 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 I know I can do something with this time right now which I have. I okay. mean I never had I never ever in my life had the situation when I am doing nothing. Nothing yeah. means, I mean I'm actually, even if I don't go to the gym, I'm a person who is always non, and non-stop. I never sit down. I cannot relax. I cannot relax. That's why I did the show yesterday. I, I non-stop go somewhere or meet people or I'm non-stop doing something, you know? Yeah. You, you have so much go, 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 go that... Yeah. To be stopped in your tracks is really, really, you know, hard because now you're like, what do I, I do? I imagine with it me? must have been hard for both you and Barbara. You know, I mean, I, I mean, seriously, it's like you're just sort of like all of a sudden, you, you know, I mean, seriously, you were pretty much, you were both knocked, knocked down, uh, down, like pretty much out for a while. Am I right about the um, Elkie and Barbara? Yeah. Yeah, we were down for the count, probably for sure a month or a month and no, a half. No, not down what about for the count. You? We were down. What do you mean not down, down for the count? Down for the count is what it's saying. I'm down. It's what's happening. It's June fourth. I'm down since then. Oh wow! Yeah. Over a month. Over a month. Yeah. Well, you definitely do have some good things happening, but. It's going to be just a few weeks before they really start kicking in. And part of it is this Mercury retrograde. It's it's a hard time for change. Yeah, but I, I, you know what I liked about you? You actually, I liked about this show and about the talk with you, Kelly. I liked it because you inspired me right now. That I'm free of that I'm free of anger and that I'm that I am free of hate and that I feel better and that I can think that I should focus by slowing down focus on switching my my bad thoughts into positive thoughts. Oh, thank you. That is so beautiful and makes me feel so good that I'm able to help you. Yes. Oh, that yeah, you is did. so beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. you. you almost, Elkie almost made me cry on air. <laughs> <laughs> you had me yesterday, too. 
Blessing to me. It's just, it's like finally, you know, I'm finding purpose. I'm finding why I'm here, and it's exciting. And it, it's even more so because I can get to know people like you, and I can like you. And and by doing that, we're helping each other. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was Thank a you. huge moment. You almost made me cry on air. That, but it was a good cry. Oh my goodness. Aww. Um, yeah. Thank you. I haven't had that like that before. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> wow. What do you mean? Whatever I say, I really mean it. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Elsie. You are so beautiful inside and out. Thank and you, Kelly. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you, you are welcome. I'm glad this is really how ha- You know, I'm just glad you're sensitive enough spiritually to even feel the difference and be in tune and really focus on it to get the benefits from it. But that, I appreciate you for being like that, open. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it couldn't okay, work. when you were... You were off the line. You got disconnected earlier by accident. I was telling them that you are really one of those spiritual seekers and that before anybody else really was into the secret, self-help, all that stuff, you were playing it nonstop and you wanted everybody yeah. to listen to it to be the best they could be. So you are like that. So sometimes we do get down like from an accident like you are now, but... Just remember, try not to use those words like I hate myself or I can't or I'm trying, this isn't working. Erase that from your vocabulary for a goal of like three days straight. Because I think right now you you got into a habit of doing that. And that is so bad for your soul and your head, your mind, and and it affects your body. You can't heal as fast. It is. Okay, you promise? Promise. Okay. Good. Promise. Awesome, I will promise. Wow. What did you say? You. You're going to try it for a week or at least three days. Then a week will no, be no, like that. I, I, said, I, I, said, I, said, I, I said you will see when I come next week. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy, you guys, that Elkie and I both got hurt so badly that, I mean, rarely yeah. happens we get injured here and there, but not to where we can't walk and we are really down for a long period of time where it's very serious injuries. I mean, this. so I guess we're in for the other side of things too which is all good it's a balance yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah this was your your opportunity for your spiritual awakening and That's growth right. personal growth sometimes the universe yeah. has to do this like kelly was saying earlier it has to stop you and with mine it made me have to go through what i had to go through and different realizations that I had with my injury that I would never have gotten. So let's try to think of the good that's going to come out of this. There is some good. There is, and you'll see, it's going to show itself. Right, Kelly? Absolutely. And, you know, if you hadn't gotten hurt, Barbara, we wouldn't have met. That's right. That's the number Mm -hmm. one thing right there. Yeah. yeah, I got a whole new career. I got a whole new career out of my injury. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who yes, knows what else he's got? The sky's the limit. And you are really. so positive. You are so positive. You have changed. You really changed, noticed, Baba. Huh? No, I did. Yes, really? I did. I know the best thing was when you told me 
that the show has helped you and you don't worry anymore because you know everything will come to you right at the right moment. That's oh, right. God. And, oh, that's so getting awesome. that off of your shoulders is a big thing, especially for us that's, as that models. Is, that is what I don't you know, see, you know? We've been self-employed for 30 or more years, and we never know when the paycheck's coming. We don't have a regular income. We have to make it happen for ourselves, and it just gets over time harder and harder. So the worry mounts up and mounts up. This is why people have breakdowns. And we can't afford yeah. to have a breakdown. So we had to take care of ourselves. And I really commend you for getting a hold of Johnny and getting some help. Thank you. And Thanks. we're here to, for everybody listening. We are doing that for everybody around the world. Anybody who needs help, we turn nobody away. We will help anybody. Absolutely. Yes. We do not discriminate. We do not judge we only love and we welcome everybody with open arms yeah that's the beauty of it that's why what happened to us recently Elsie we have the two top world renowned psychics that have jumped aboard on our life laughter happiness team they're regularly going to be on our show yes Tuesdays and Thursdays and they're they were always my favorites, and yeah. we talked to a lot of psychics over the years, especially Johnny. I mean, Johnny had been doing this show for years before Kelly and I came. Mm-hmm. Right, Kelly? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I hear there's a show, and I'm like, well, I don't think I have anything to contribute, but that sounds really exciting. <laughs> oh, and boy, were you ever wrong. You totally <laughs> – I mean, I I would never be able to pick the the most perfect. Nobody's more perfect than you. I would describe you. If we didn't have you, you would be the exact description of the perfect co-host, chakra healer, and spiritual seeker, growing in leaps and bounds person that I would describe. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Kelly and, L. I mean, Walters. Chakra Healer is a star. <laughs> Thank you. Elfie, you're a star. And you're a star. And don't ever forget it, Elfie. Forget you are a star. And you are Thank shining you, bright. Thank you. You are you welcome. Are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This show did so much to me. I'm so happy. Oh, good. Oh, good. You, I really have a feeling of happiness it. right now. And I'm energized. Elfie. Would you mind would you mind writing us a review and say a couple of those things that you just said? That would be really oh, great. Oh, not. Just send me a link where I have to put the review in. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Just send me a link. We have a reviews page on our website that's coming out in a week. Uh, so yeah. it's coming out in a week? So ca- yeah. So you can be just send me a link and I do everything right away since I have time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So yes, I, yes, I'm more than happy to do that. Oh, you know that. I, I do everything right away now. Okay. Appreciate that. But so since it, since it is not up, I don't have to. I, you don't want me to do it now. Just do it now and send it to me via email, and I'll put it up when we. Oh no! I like when you send me a link. Okay. Isn't and then that I like important, to, I like Johnny? The... Johnny, isn't that important, the reviews page that we talked about? Now we've got our first review waiting to happen. Yeah. That is yeah. Really wow. We have yeah. a lot of things going on. We really yeah. get into momentum. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking of getting, like, magnets for the car for when... I take the Lexus across the country and we do our shows on the way to the photo shoot. And I'm trying to think of a catchy phrase that people will look up, but how about we have something like find your happiness? Yeah. I was trying to think of something like that too. And a logo. Or how about find yes. your happiness on the road? Yeah. Oh, 
that might work too. Because you're doing but, a road yeah. thing, you know. I mean, find your life, laughter, happiness on the road, you know. Huh. Well, then they might think it's a driving thing. Oh, she I doesn't I mean just to... for her trip. She means for no. just always, right? Driving around with it. Yeah, and then get like a a license plate on the front that says life, laughter, happiness, and then, you know, maybe people at the grocery store will be like, what's that? A catchy yeah. phrase that, it's like a household phrase that everybody knows after a while. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> So we could do like, like what Johnny says. He's like, he heard the answer to your question, and I say wow, and you know, <laughs> that wouldn't work well I with me. Right? But <laughs> you say wow, and I say what? What did he say? <laughs> you say wow, and I say I don't remember what I he said. I said all the time. No, you oh. say what you say. You say I get chills. I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. Oh, That's yeah. what you say. <laughs> You always say yeah. you always get a goosebumps. You're getting chills, and and Barbie's always like, most chills. I'm like, wow, whoa, wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm getting yeah. chills. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting chills. I'm getting. Chills. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, Elkie, does she say? Does Barbara on? say that all the time? Does Belky, does Barbara yeah. say she gets goosebumps all the time? Does she say that a lot? Mm-hmm. It's a new thing. She does? Bonnie, it's a new thing. <laughs> what? That's funny. You know the chakra that you were on, Kelly, that uh, made Elky say, oh, wow, I just felt something. I just got a surge of energy. What chakra was that? I think that was the solar plexus because that was her personal power, self-esteem, warrior energy, and the power of transformation. And I think that was the transformation kicking in. Maybe wow. you can write, okay, maybe, maybe what I said was coming from my heart and from the moment, right? And if I don't, yeah. I think I, 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 if, uh, I might forget. Well, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, all it's recording. Coming we'll from just what, to the what? show again. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, right, 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 right. Right, it's right, yeah. right, right, right. First there. You're never going to yeah. be able to, you're never going to lose it. You can re, You can listen to this again and again to work on your chakras one by one, Elkie. That's the beauty of this as well. Everything. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. Okay. Since I have time, I will. Mm-hmm. Oh, will. Good. Good. Yeah, okay. So thank you, guys. Thank little, you so much. Thank You're you welcome. so much for coming yeah. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thanks, thank everyone. you. Thanks don't for ever feel guilty you. for uh, don't ever feel gu- guilty for resting and healing, and don't ever think of what you're not doing. You are. You need exactly. to listen to the doctors. You need to heal and rest. Don't feel guilty for that because I know you, and you start to feel guilty that you're not getting anything done. So yes. keep that out of your mind as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. You the best. Nobody knows me better than you. Aww. Uh, Vice well, versa. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, okay, for coming so, on. Thank you guys so yeah, much. Thank, thank you. you. I can't yeah. wait. Thanks, thank everybody. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Elkin. Thank you, Johnny. Thank oh, you, Jonathan. Thank everybody. you, Barbara. Thank you.